Hey guys, it's Almonds from Team Curse. I'm Ally Jakey. I'm Pluto. I'm Cop. I'm West Rice. I'm St. Vicious, and we live in the Curse House. Uh, hi, I'm Boy Boy. My name is uh, Joe or Joey, and I am now the top winner for Team Curse. Where I am from, I was born in Berkeley, California, and I've lived there, well, I lived there for like 17 years of my life, and I just graduated high school uh, before this summer, and yeah, I've never really been anywhere else, and now I'm living uh, here, now in LA with the team, and before I decided to take some time off to play league professionally, I was actually planning just to go straight to college, so I had applied and then when I got accepted to college and stuff, I decided to take some time off and play league. But I wasn't sure what my plans were until the league scene actually took off. And like, it was kind of surprising for me and it was really hard to convince my parents to, to allow me to, to go out on a limb and play league. He seems like he's doing really well, really well and he syncs up really well with Saint because they both have like really all-in play styles. Based on the scrim, I think he's really good. Like he plays aggressive, like so aggressive, like he he I think he's the most aggressive like top player. And he carry game through the game. That's that, that's a two situation when you feel play like that. One of the reasons I started like playing video games a lot and it's probably a reason why I'm playing competitive league now is because back when I was like 10, 11, I used to play a lot of like uh, like trading card games. Like I played so much Pokemon and I had like a binder and I had like all these cool cards and I would like, that's like all I would spend my time on. And like I had like a GameCube and like a computer and stuff but I never really used them to play games that much because I was so busy. Uh, playing like trading card games and Pokemon. And then uh, one day I was, I, I took my minor to school to like trade with my friends and stuff. And then somehow somebody stole it. And that just like, I spiraled into a deep depression at the age of 10. And I just ended up quitting like Pokemon and trading card games altogether. And then after that, I just started playing video games because I didn't really have that much to do with my spare time. And then I guess, I just played them a lot and I got to where I am today, so thanks kid that stole my Pokemon cards. I love you. How do I feel about leaving CLG? I don't really have like any bad feelings or anything. Obviously like the way that the way that the situation's handled I think could have been a lot better from both ends. Like for me, uh, in retrospect I realized that like the fact that I broke the news before CLG and stuff was a little immature, but I also had wish that if they were going to like decide to, to not work with me anymore that I was given a little feedback or like a little input rather than being kept out of the loop. But honestly, I, 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 have no, I wish nothing but the best for them and I hope that they do well come season three. Um, as for myself, I'm just really looking hopeful towards the future and I think that with Curse we have a really good shot at doing well. I just want to take back my title as best top winner in NA or maybe even the world. Uh, that's what I'm shooting for. And I think that it's definitely achievable. From my end, I don't know how the rest of the team feels. I felt pretty good about playing with these guys. Um, all our scrims went really well, uh, both from a team standpoint and from a personal standpoint. We lost a few matches yesterday and like, they were all really close, especially against Fear. Like the first one, we kept getting DDoS and that contributed to our loss, but it wasn't the main, the main reason we lost. And, I don't know, Fear is a really good team and they took the best of three uh, on us, but both of the games we like had it in the palm of our hands and we just threw it. So it's definitely stuff we can work on to prevent uh, that kind of those kind of things from happening. But at the same time, like it's really early into, like it's been less than a week since we started playing it with each other. And I think that once we get going, once we have our first LAN, and once we up our practice schedule, uh, we're definitely going to be working a lot better together. He didn't speak that much talk that much, but I think because he's just new to the team, I think he just needs some time, then we like communicate better. I think he's a good player and he's smart. Um, he thinks for himself, so I do like that about him, and he knows how to carry if he gets rolling, so I guess it's a good thing that he joined. 
Thank you to all my fans for supporting me through the ups and downs. I know it's kind of hectic seeing me go through like three teams over the course of my career, but I definitely think that uh, we, I can do really good things here, and I hope that you guys, I'll be able to prove that to you guys. So look forward to that.